Hi Rowan, it's Oma and I'm here to wish you a happy birthday and for your birthday we're sending you a few books. Opa is reading two books to you and I'm going to read this book to you called Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Andre and Guy Parker Rees. I'm also reading this for other people who subscribe to your YouTube channel. So I'll be showing you the pictures, but I'll be sending this book to you for your birthday. Here we go. Giraffes Can't Dance. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Can you see the little turtle looking at poor Gerald as he fell down? Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance, where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rocked and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. They are not being very nice to poor Gerald. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before, so sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. <coughs> Excuse me, coughed a cricket who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his legs out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I'm dancing, yes, I'm dancing, I am dancing, Gerald cried. And one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle. We must be in a dream. 
Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Do you see the flowers they threw at Gerald? That's what you do when you like somebody's performance. You give them flowers. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. And I love you, Rowan. And I love all of you who are listening today. I hope you'll come back for more stories. We love reading to Rowan. I'm Rowan's Oma, and I'm happy you joined us today for Giraffes Can't Dance. Have a good day, and happy birthday, my sweet little girl. I love you so much. Bye-bye.